Okay, so if you ever have a check engine light and you do the repair, um, you're going to have to reset the check engine light. And uh, in order to pass your safety and emissions or just your emissions, um, the, the vehicle will have to be in the ready um, status to be able to pass your emissions. So a lot of people, from what I've um, seen in work and stuff like that, will fix the problem, reset the codes, and then bring the vehicle in to have the emissions done, and then it will fail because the system's not ready. So I'm gonna explain that to you here really quick. So after you reset the, the check engine light or the computer, whenever that happens, um, the vehicle will have to do a drive cycle in order to make sure all the systems check out before it, it becomes ready. And a drive cycle, um, that can include um, going reverse, going forward, accelerating, deaccelerating, going highway speeds. This guide right here shows you how to do a drive cycle. And if you follow it, you should be able to get your drive cycle done a lot quicker. Um, I mean, I've had vehicles you've had to drive over 100 miles before it was ready. But I've had vehicles that you've only had to drive um, a few miles before it was ready so this one that I'm driving right now is a Nissan um, it's got these uh, these are all the the systems that it has to check and four are still not ready um, it's the EVAP catalytic converter O2 sensors and then the EGR valve so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the vehicle on we're gonna go for a drive and we're gonna see some of these come off. Now, not all of them are gonna come off because um, this one, you do have to drive it for a while before all of them stop. So we're gonna take it on the freeway right now. Okay, so after driving it for a while and stopping at a stop light, um, one of them, the uh, EGR valve has already turned green so we're going to continue driving and see what happens After driving a while, the EVAP um, system turned green, so now we just have the catalytic converter and the O2 sensor. And these ones are the ones that usually take the longest in most vehicles. Okay, we've been driving for a while, and uh, the catalytic converter system turned green so now we just have to wait for the o2 sensors and uh, we are good to go okay we are making progress after driving it for 46.6 miles um, both of the codes uh, went off so now we're just still waiting for that o2 sensor okay now you see with all of these um, green ones o2 sensor finally um, turn green so the system is ready to have the emissions tested um, that took 49.6 miles usually it doesn't take that long I just drove home on the freeway so um, yeah in order to do that you're just gonna have to do some, a drive cycle um, I, I posted what a drive cycle is get it done a little bit quicker than than what you would have otherwise but yeah if you have any questions Feel free to post on, on the comment section. I'll try to answer them as best I can.